tennis spin, where we put our spin on your tennis. All right, today I got new toys. Um, I played with these toys before, but I just got more of them. My Technofibers. You guys have been asking for these, or some of you have been asking for these, so I'm finally gonna do a review on, on these rackets, all right? So let's start with the bag here. This is actually the, the big player's bag. Looks like a 12 pack to me. Um, it's actually nice. I can. This is a nice sturdy material, rubberized, plasticized, sturdy. Um, the strap's a little interesting though. I, I wore it like this in, um, cause I see these shoulder things and I guess this is how I'm supposed to wear it. Yeah, this is how I'm supposed to wear it. So the shoulder straps are here. Um, this actually goes, uh, this goes around your waist. So this is a little tight for me. I'm trying to get around my stomach here. So like that. Um, but yeah, that's a nice, looks like a nice sturdy bag. I would definitely recommend this bag. All right, so let's look at the rackets. Let's look at the, uh, actually let's finish up the bag. We've got a nice big compartment here. Uh, it's not foil, it's thick here. I don't feel foil on this side though. Let's look on this side. Yeah, it's thick here. I don't feel the foil protection on this side though. Again, hmm, that's interesting. So this is for uh, clothes, accessories, balls, uh, whatever else you have. Uh, the shoe compartment leads into that on the top. I'm gonna zip that. Wow, it's a nice big compartment there. I could probably get two pairs of shoes in that thing. And then it leads into this, as you can see here. Got the air hole here for your stinky shoes. Um, let's look at the sides. Compartment here. Cell phone keys. Possibly a wallet will fit in here. Uh, cell phone and keys for sure. Depends on how fat your wallet is. Uh, nothing on this side. So basically four compartments. Wait, one more compartment, one more compartment. On the other side here. Oh, another what they call wet compartment. So I guess you can put, if you want to put your shoes on that other side, you can put it on this side. Uh, see, you can put your wet clothes in here. Or your shoes, but there's no, there's no vent hole on this one. There's no vent hole on this one. Oh, the vent hole's here. Where's that? Why is this vent hole here? interesting oh wait there's one more compartment okay wow i'm just finding compartments left and right here i was wondering what that vent hole was for there's one more compartment here wow there's all these random compartments look here i'll show you so there's a compartment for the upper side of this and then the lower side of this so you can put all your sweaty clothes and towels in in these compartments uh, this one doesn't have a vent hole though, so uh, be careful with that one, all right? Because your bag might start smelling real soon. Okay, so wow. Okay, that's a pretty decent bag. I definitely recommend this bag if you're a, uh, if you like, uh, you know, affect the fiber. All right, let's zip up. One quick note to the bag. Um, I wish that I know that my bag usually sits like this, either along the fence, on the bench, or somewhere, and I and I take out stuff like this. Um, I wish that, you know, in that Nike bag, there, there was a Nike bag that you can open up like this, and you can, you know, put your wallet and your keys and your phone right on the top so that, you know, you can just 
It's the last thing you throw in, you zip it up, right? That makes sense, right? This is a wet, this is a wet um, compartment for them, meaning that, you know, you put your sweaty shoes or your sweaty clothes in here, but this would have been a, com a perfect compartment for that. All right? Okay, so let's start with some rackets here. We're gonna go on the T-Fight series. So we're gonna just be doing uh, some of the T-Fights right now as it's their player's line. Uh, the T-Rebound is kind of like their casual line. So I wanted to start with the 320, T-Fight 320. I don't carry that racket as it doesn't sell very well. Uh, it's on the tighter side. It's good for a person who's on the high intermediate to advanced level. And I don't quite have too many of those to sell to. Uh, I may sell one or two a year. So, um, so that's why I don't carry it. I personally like it just cause I like weight. So um, I'll go over that racket with you though. So it's called a T-Fight 320 XCT. Um, strong weight is going to be 337, head size 98, string pattern 18, 19, seven points head light. And I'm telling you all the strong, it's strong specs here. Okay. Uh, the stiffness rating is a 68. The beam is 2.5, 22.5, 21.5. So it, it's a taper beam and it gets thinner at the top here. Okay. And that's 337 grams strong. Okay. So strong weight is 337. Unstrung weight is what it would say here, 320. Okay. So that's the T-Fight 320 XCT. Next up in the T-Fight line is the 315 XCT. So just to tell you, what does XCT mean? It stands for Extreme Touch Construction. Um, they say it's a matrix, uh, material matrix, and it's in the lower part of the shaft area. Uh, so it's on the lower part of this racket, which gives you feel um, and touch and keeps it stable. So I'm guessing it's like spiral fibers and whatever bracing that these other companies are doing too. So for some reason, everybody's gotten on the boat of, you know, messing around with the lower part of this shaft to soften up the racket and to stabilize the racket. So Tech the Fiber kind of followed suit too. The characteristics of this, this particular racket, it is lighter than the 320 obviously, because it's 315. So it's 300, 315 grams unstrung. So the strong weight of this racket is 332 in and about, 98 square inch head, seven points head light, 314 on the swing weight. So a little less on the swing weight of this one than the 320. Stiffness is a 68. Uh, beam is the same as the 320. Uh, 22.5, 22.5, 21.5. Now, one of the major differences is it it has a 16 by 19 string pattern. So a little more power in this one, a little more easier to spin in this one, um, obviously lighter in this one. So we, we like this racket a lot. Um, it played well, had good feel, had good power uh, for what it is. But again, smaller head, it's kind of like uh, for that strike player, strike 16, 19. Uh, should be very similar to that or like a beefed up blade person would would like this racket all right so that's the 315 xct next up t fight 305 so supposedly uh daniel medvedev's racket he endorses this racket and his racket looks like this racket but he doesn't usually, he doesn't actually play with this racket, okay? So uh, so his racket looks like this, but it ain't this racket. You understand? Okay, so this racket is 98 square inches, just like the other two. 
Seven points headlight, just like the other two. Uh, this is all strong specs, okay? Coming forward now. 329 on the swing weight, 65 on the stiffness. Again, 22, 22 22.5, 22 22.5, 21. All right, same beam. Um, back to 18 by 19 on the string pattern here with a total weight strung of 323. So all those specs would not work for Daniil. I can already tell you that. He's probably playing with some special make uh, that they used to make. My guess, that 325 back in the day, that's all weighted up and, and thinner beam. Uh, but that's just my guess. But this is um, a good playing stick. If you're intermediate to advance, uh, this weight is kind of perfect for that high intermediate, low advanced player. Easy to play with, easy to maneuver, uh, power when you need it, definitely good control. So that's the 305. Next up, Key Fight 300. Uh, again, 98 square inch head, four points headlight on this one. 321 on the swing speed. Again, these are all strong specs, okay? Total weight, 323, 323 grams with the strings in it. Stiffness, we get a little stiffer in this racket. So 69 on the stiffness scale, okay? Again, the same beam, 22.5, 22.5, 21.5. And then we go back to the 16 by 19 string pattern. So this one is lighter, head heavier, and easier to spin with an open string pattern, okay? So that's the 300. He fight 295, okay? So this is getting a little different than what we just had. This is more of, let's say, the intermediate racket. Beginner, high, high beginner, intermediate type of racket. This particular racket comes already strung from the factory. So Technofiber already strung this for us. Um, and it looks like they strung it with a synthetic gut. Yeah, it looks like synthetic gut. 130 is what it says. So it says Technofiber 130. Uh, what that usually means is it usually means it's on the cheaper side, but not in this case. So I'm not quite sure why they pre-strung these, but you know, I don't know what the French think sometimes. Okay, so let's leave it there. Um, 100 square inch head, okay, three points headlight. These are all strong, strong specs again. Swing weight is 317 with a total strung weight of 312 grams. Stiffness at 69, so higher on the stiffness again, just like the previous one. Um, here's where we get a little more power. 23.5, 23.5, 23.5. So it's a thicker beam all around, uh, which will make this racket stiffer and more powerful. Uh, 16 by 19 string pattern. All right, so this is very like normal of a, a racket. So pure drive, pure drive team, arrow, arrow team, it's kind of in that category, uh, easier to play with. That was the T-Fight line. There is a 285 in there too. Um, I don't carry that one as that's on the other extreme. Instead of being too heavy, uh, it's on the lighter side and I don't really have a customer for that particular racket either. Uh, that, that's the 285. Now, going into um, a slightly different line than they've, they've made, uh, ca now calling it the TF, meaning Technofiber 40, for the 40 years that they've been in business. Now, uh, they haven't been producing rackets for 40 years, but the the racket company has been in existence for 40 years. So that's what the 40 means. It's celebrating their 40 years in business. Now, let's start off with the TF40315, okay? Again, whenever they number something, it means 
how much it weighs before strings. So this is 315 grams before strings. So with the strings in here, uh, they call it 325. So they're deeming it as 325 grams strong, okay? Now, this looks very, very similar to a different, another racket to me. It's got the squared off, um, squared off frame, right? Kind of all the way up. So whenever manufacturers want to add more control to a racket, it seems like they are squaring off the frames to give it more flex. Uh, that's just what I've seen. So this to me looks very, very similar to like a strike, right? Or, or a blade, right? It actually looks very similar to a blade. I'm gonna do a video of these two comparing them, uh, maybe even adding that strike in there next, all right? But, but this looks very similar to me. Um, as it's right going to be in those two racket categories. So uh, back to specs. So it's seven points headlight. That sounds familiar. Swing weight, three, two, three. Sounds pretty familiar. Stiffness index at 64. Sounds familiar, right? Beam is 22 millimeters all the way through. This whole beam is 22. So constant beam. That sounds familiar, right? Uh, 18 by 20 string pattern, right? Okay, so we know that this is a player stick. Um, we know that it's going to be very similar to a blade in an 1820 and possibly a strike 1820, all right? Uh, this is the 315, so it's going to be right in there. This is the TF40 305, so a little lighter but not much more different though. Um, again, 98 square inch head, three points headlight, 326 on the swing weight, still 64 on the stiffness, 22, 22, 22 all around the racket, um, 1820 string pattern. So little minor, minor changes. Um, weight, total weight being 320. So. For that, that person who just wants a little lighter racket or they want a lighter racket to start so you can customize it a little bit more to your uh, swing and balance weights, uh, this would probably be the one to get if you, if you want to ramp it up how you want it to ramp it up. So this would be the good alternative to the 315. Um, in terms of the whole line, I probably before these came out because these are very new to the line this is you know celebrating their 40th i sold a lot of the 305s right good all-around racket um advanced juniors love this a lot of the coaches that i work with use this um for that up and coming junior that's intermediate the 300 worked really well a uh, lot of uh you know 14s 14 year olds uh, both boys and girls uh use this racket so these are the the whole line the whole tech the fiber t fight line uh and this tf40 line are great for intermediate advanced players um it's not going to help you out a lot and you're going to be able to shape the ball how you want to. You can hit through the ball really well, um, but it ain't going to help you a whole lot. So you kind of have to know what you're doing to play with these rackets. Uh, my favorite, I actually like weight. So uh, you guys know that. So I like the 315s on both sides. It's the TF40 315 and the T Fight 315. Um, they do have the tighter string beds, which I would prefer 16, 19, but, but I understand, you know, you have to kind of swing through the ball, swing a little flatter, uh, to get the pace from it. So, but, but.
But like, again, I usually like the heaviest rackets of every line. So for those of you who don't know, uh, Tectifiber is a French company, French engineered, um, been around for 40 years. They've been making rackets for probably, I want to say maybe 20 years, maybe a little longer. I didn't research that too much, but I know uh, just from my own personal experience, I've been uh, familiar with the company for about 10, 12 years now. Uh, and they've always made solid rackets, um, players rackets most of the time. So uh, they have a relationship with the ATP tour, therefore they use or are allowed to use the ATP name. As you can see that they're stamped on the rackets. Um, ATP, if you don't know, is the men's tour. Uh, on the women's tour, it's called WTA. So, um, all right, so that is the T-Fight line and the T-40 line from Tech the Fiber. Thank you for watching Tennis Spin, where we put our spin on your tennis.